last week. I show them all. First and foremost, want to give all all Allah, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahshai, Bashem, before Kadash. The boss there, the boss is a great Muslim. Show them all to the Yakim out there on the highways and byways, noise in this road abroad, all around the world, give the spirit of God, my Lord, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahshai. So, you know, like we've been saying, um, you know, the um, the worst is yet to come. You know, the worst is yet to come. You know, we're not out of the woods yet. You know, the time of Jacob's trouble is still on its on the way. You know, the time of the, these concentration camps. You know, these um, and especially the RFID chip. You know, it's on its way. So don't think for a split second that things are just gonna just magically just turn back to normal because it's not, you know? Pretty much right now we're in the calm before the storm. This is the calm before the storm. And the worst is yet to happen, you know? And another thing too, as it, um, if you notice, you know, what's going on on YouTube is that every time when brothers are speaking about you know the chip. We're talking about the chip. You know, associated with the uh, with the Max, with the Maxine. You see these brothers' channels getting clipped. You know, you see these brothers' channels getting suspended and getting clipped off once you start talking about them. You know, that just that just goes to show you that you know we're definitely in that time. You know, we're definitely in that time. Uh, Second decimal That's right, we're, we're in that time. This is, this is it. This is the time that we're that we've been uh that the men before us, the apostles and the uh, the brethren, you know, all the brothers have been talking about man. This is the time the Lord spoke about. You know, this is the time that the prophets of old spoke about, man, which are which are back here today. Speaking and telling you the same things over and over again, you know, but the people won't listen just like in the day of the Lord. Uh, second, yeah, second, that's what first Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 3. So, uh, first Thessalonians 5 and 3. Uh, I start the first verse, it says a lot. It says, but the time, while well, the times and the seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you. Well, you yourself know perfectly that the day of the Lord is so cometh as a thief in the night. Yeah, God, the day of the Lord is so cometh as a thief in the night. You know, because we don't know when the Lord is coming. We don't know when our Lord is going to crack up skies and come and bring salvation to the elect, to the, uh, to the elect men of the nation of Israel. We don't know, you know, the time that he's going to do that. So this is why it's important for us to keep watching as well as praying. You know, this is why it's important to be on the ready and to, to keep watching as well as praying. Because our Lord is just right there. You know, he's even at the door, like he said. Once you start seeing this, these signs coming, and right now we're seeing these signs that's taking place in the earth, the Lord said, even, even I'm at the door, you know. So it's only a matter of time before our Lord Yahweh Shai just goes through that door. When our, uh, when the, uh, our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, gives them the go-ahead, you know? It's only a matter of time. So now is not the time to be sleeping or procrastinating or getting, uh, or getting lukewarm. Now is definitely time to keep pushing and keep pushing. Yeah, that's why it says, uh, rather you have no need to get right onto you, because you should already know this. The, 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 the brothers that's in the truth, that's in the fold, that's in the mind frame of the of, 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 uh, As the scripts say, put on as the elect, as the, they're, they're in that mind frame. You don't need to tell them. I don't need to tell this brother what's going on, man. He already knows. I don't need to call this brother, hey, we got camp, but this is, I already know he's going to be there. So this, this is, this is, that's the mind frame you got to, you got to have. Okay? Mind frame that, look, 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 look we're about this work. That's what I was watching. Uh, from South Carolina, you know, he, you know, he's known, uh, he's known for getting on people, and, uh, and uh, he was getting on this one guy for being lukewarm. You know, he was cussing him out and shit. He was like, blatantly, like, you know, uh, you know, calling him out for it. And, 
uh, you know, that's the best, that's the spirit you should have. It's the spirit of, uh, of, of being hot. You know what? You don't want to be. You don't want to be a uh, uh, lukewarm person. You speak out of your mouth. So when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction comes upon them as prevail upon a woman with child, they shall not escape. That's right, when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction comes up upon them. You know? Right now we're in that quiet before that storm. You know, that, that, that sudden destruction, you know, can happen at any moment. You don't know when it's gonna happen. You know, just like 9-11. Now people, it was just a sunny day just like this, nice and beautiful. People were going out about their daily lives, but little did they know that all hell was going to break loose. Little did they, did they know that all hell was about to break loose. You know? Which, all hell is about to break loose right now. You know, the hell of the, hell of the hellest. Because once the, once all the all this hell start coming upon this earth, you know, and upon America, that's gonna be the beginning of America's destruction. Because our final destruction will be the thermal nuclear destruction. You know, by the by the ICBMs, the intercontinental ballistic missiles, you know. Then it only takes in half an hour for those for those bad boys to come flying over here. No. Or just take it half or take it half an hour for them for them to fly over here from one from the other end from the east eastern hemisphere all the way to, over here to the western hemisphere. Yeah, that's why I call it hypersonic. But they're well, they they're faster than the speed of sound, right? uh, which is uh, I think the speed of sound like 750 miles an hour, something like that. Uh, the speed of light is like you know, it's like a hundred times that, but Russia had made a statement years ago, you know what I mean? Because what America is doing, America is setting up missiles and on things upon their borders. Yeah, you, know you don't even fucking know me, right? No, 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 no. Just step back. Yeah, yeah, come on. Just come up to somebody you don't know, start touching. No, no, no. I didn't mean to offend you, bro. Nah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not offended, but come on, bro. You know what I'm saying? Where'd you get that? I got it at the store. Yeah, yeah, but don't do that though. Don't you don't just come up to me and stop touching me. You get hurt for that. It's all it's all good. Just keep that in mind. Even people that think it's all it looks like alright though. Hey, that's why I should say we made a spectacle out of the world. A spectacle out of the men. Why? Because they see you as a game as a game and stuff like that. right there and just said, oh, hey, like, girl, like you're running. Yeah, you know, you don't have to just touch another. You being a man, why would you want to touch another man? Like, it's, it's crazy out there.
Yeah, so those hypersonic, the missiles, you know, Russia, you know, is setting up these um, areas around America because um, America's doing the same thing around Russia's border. So in response, Russia's taking drastic action, you know? Like, you're gonna set up missiles around our borders, we're gonna set up missiles around your borders, you know? And we're gonna have, um, you know, submarines, you know, in the area of your territory. So this is what's taking place with these nations. And another thing too, shed the blood of, of the people on the sign right here and you're gonna pay dearly for it you know it's not gonna there's not there's not gonna be no mercy you know because America is just gonna be become 100% desert you know a desert wasteland that's what America is gonna become in the near future nothing but a desert wasteland
kind of dancing here. I was watching the weather, uh, Mike Arnold, the other day. Um, from, uh, from LA. You know, uh, inspiration for me. You know, he, all he feels is inspiring. So, he's in the spirit of, like, he's in the spirit of, uh, you know, winning. That's the mindset you should have. You should have one. Like, oh, man. You know, the power's on our side, man. Right. Heavenly Father's on our side, so what the hell is, it, is there to be like, you know, depressed about Because, you know, we're, we're seeing it around the burn that time. Even though, you know, it may not seem like nothing's happening, but, you know, things happen. Things are happening in the spirit, you know. So because you see it, it's a nice day and people are walking around not having a care in the world, you know what I mean? But. We know that sudden destruction is right, it, it can happen at any minute, you know, sudden destruction is, is bound to happen, you know. And this time when this, um, when this destruction happens, there is no turning back, you know. That's just gonna, it, that's just gonna be the beginning of America's downfall, you know, America's on the mind. Alright, this is um, Revelations chapter 18. Verse 8, Therefore shall her plagues come in one on uh, one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burnt with fire, for the strong for strong is the Lord, for strong is the Lord God who judgeth her. And the earth um, and the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and live deliciously with her shall bewail her and lament her. When she and when they shall see the smoke of our burning, standing afar, standing afar from the fear of her torment, saying, "At last, at last, that great city Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour is thy judgment come." Because it's going to be televised, you know. America's destruction is going to be breaking news around the whole world, you know. So it's going to be televised throughout the four corners of the earth about America's destruction. You know? and, the, and the reason being that the Lord Yahweh by Shemir Shai's name has to be magnified. That's right. So when, it, when, the, when the nations see the destruction of America, the, 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 they're going to fear. The, 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 the heathen are going to fear again. So the heathen are going to fear once again. And the name of the Lord and the, and the people of the Lord are going to be magnified. You guys ever had driving through? Uh, no? No, I never had it. Get like, it. Right, you know, Get it. So good. Yeah. Hey, you know, um, are you familiar what's about to take place in this society? Stay in judgment, right? Yeah. Yes. You know that? Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Let me ask you real quick. What's your nationality? Me? Yeah. I'm Irish. Irish and Colombian? Yes. What are you? Your father's Irish, West Indian. What? West Indian. Uh, West Indian? Yeah. You? Thank you. Uh, All right. No, you, 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 got, you, got, you got dragon fruit on your face. Yeah, you got that off. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, is your father Irish? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I can tell. But, yeah, you know, judgment is coming. You know, spread the word. You know, you know things are about to happen. Even though it may not seem like nothing's happening right now, but it's going to happen. Just to let you know. So spread the word, you know. Kids, man. What can you do with kids, man? But uh, this is uh. But well, he knows. Man. He knows. He said I asked him. He said he knows about. I asked him if I, if he knows what's about to happen. He said judgment. So they know. They know that judgment is coming. And this is what we just read right here in the scripture. Judgment. America's judgment. It seemed, it seemed to me like he was kind of being a little facetious. Yeah, I know. You know, but, but they know though. They they take it as a joke, you know. They but see, they because they see the, the men out there. And yeah. They're like they know, they already know because because this truth is out there, so they see. It. They know what we're talking about. You know, we're talking about okay, dragon food. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You no, know, they take it as a joke, you know, as if as if it's funny, but it's not going to be funny when that time comes, you know, because they are um, because they think that you know they can still you know like. Like he said, he could still go to the store and buy some dragon food and eat it. You know what I mean? But there's gonna come a point in time where he gonna, when he's not gonna be able to buy those, you know, those dragon fruits out of the stores because the store shelves will be empty. You know, because there is a famine that's coming to America. You know, 
know. Famine is coming to America. You know, there's going to be a lack of food. You know, that's about to come. There's not going to be no food in these grocery stores in um, much longer. You know? Yeah, so, you know, he said he's stocking up. You know? What you gonna do when it wears out? Exactly. Yeah, that's not right. Right. That's right. And not to mention, um, especially you gotta worry about you know, your neighbor. Because you're gonna have people plotting on you. Take, take whatever you got. You know? Because if your neighbor knows that you got food stored up in, your, um, stored up in your house, you know, he's plotting. Because there it is, his family is starving, he's going hungry. You know, he's not gonna, he's not just gonna sit back, he's gonna take action. So he's plotting. Signs are not to be taken lightly. You know, it's just like when you're going out, you know, you're driving down the street, and uh, the speed limit says, you know, you gotta, you gotta go 40 miles an hour. You end up going like 90. You know, you're bound for destruction. You know, you're bound for um, destruction. It's like right now, you know, people are ignoring the signs. You know, people are not focused. You know, we tell people. That these things are coming, but they don't want to listen. They don't want to hear. It's just like the days of Noah. You Noah know, was out there for 120 years telling the knuckleheads that a flood of that a flood is coming upon the earth. You know, they didn't want to take heed until they started to see the, the clouds turning gray, the sky turning gray. You know, the, the drops of water coming coming down. You know. You know, they probably thought they were probably amazed that they was like, oh, you know, a little drop of water coming from the sky. You know what I'm saying? Like, they probably was amazed at it. But when it started just gashing down, you know, and and they, and they thought and they thought and they realized it was serious. Now they want to get right. Now they want to get into the heart. <laughs> but the most side, he had to shut it tight. He had to seal it. It was the most side that sealed that. That sealed the um, sealed the ark of the door. Yeah, with the angels. You know? It was your how about Shim Yam Shai that did that? Only eight passages. Fun. And, uh, and the animals, that's it. That's it, you know? You had plenty of time to get it right. You didn't want to you didn't want to get it right, so now you're bound for destruction. Now you mark the death. Fun. Might go through a hard time. You might go through a, a, a 
good time. As a false prophet, I know how to abound in peace. You know, so. The most, but the most high is always with you, man. Just like he was with uh, Job. Just like he was with all the blues, man. You know, all, all, the, all the men. He was with all of them. He was always with Israel. Even in slavery, the most high could have just wiped us all out, man. Because we deserve it. But what did he do? Preserve the, always preserve the remnant, man. That's mercy. Yeah, uh, this is James 4 and 14. Whereas ye know not what shall be on uh, on tomorrow, for what is your life? It is even a vapor that appeareth for a little time and then vanishes away. It's, it's, a, it's a vapor. Your life is a vapor as scripture, man. It's, it's, it, when, when, you, when you read 2 Peter 3 and 8, the, the Lord said one day is a thousand years. So right now, you know, my brother may be 30, I'm by myself in my 20s, whatever. That's one hour with the Lord is 42, uh, 42 years, 43 years. You, you, live, you haven't even lived an hour as the heavens fall. You haven't even lived an hour. You know, so here it is. You, uh, you know, say you're an elderly man. You've lived two hours and you're 80. And that's the Lord promised you three score and 10 years. And with strength, four score. Two hours, that's it. That's all you get. In this, in this flesh, before you had men like Methuselah lived 969 years, you know, which was almost a day before. But in the kingdom, we're gonna have everlasting life. In the kingdom, we're gonna have everlasting life. So we have to worry about perishing. Uh, 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 that's why the scriptures say our life is a vapor. It's really nothing. Because the heavenly Father, in His perspective, how He sees things. You know, that's why the Lord said, "My thoughts are higher than your thoughts." You know, so you, you look at your life. Oh man, it's cool here. Whatever, that's nothing. You know, that's nothing. Yeah, pretty much your life is in the hands of your whole body. You're at the mercy of yeah, the Lord. Yeah, yeah. That's it. <laughs> the Lord said he'd kill him and make him alive. That's the spirit. Yeah, that's the spirit. All right, now. Samus chapter 2 and uh, verse 6 it said the Lord killed him and make it alive. He bring him down to the grave. He bring him down to the grave and bring him up. The Lord make him poor and make him rich. And he bring him low and lift him up. He raise up the poor out of the dust and lift up the beggar from the dunghill to set them among princes and to make them inherit the throne of glory for the pillars of the earth are Lord's and he has set the world upon them. And he will keep the feet of the saints, and the wicked shall be silent in darkness, for by strength shall no man prevail. And the adversaries of the Lord shall be broken into pieces. Out of heaven shall he thunder upon them. How is it going to thunder upon them with mystery? And how shall he change? And the Lord shall judge the ends of the earth, and he shall give strength unto his king, and exalt the horn of the winter. He controls good and evil. You know, 
No, he controls good, both sides, good and evil. That's why the Lord said that he made up a vessel unto honor and a vessel unto dishonor. You know? So he controls both sides. But you know, you won't hear this kind of you won't hear this from your pastor, you know, up in these churches. You know, all the pastors, all these pastors, all they talk about is, you know, is, you know, um, prosperity, um, uh, sending your money and um, sowing, giving money so you can uh, get money back. Not the most high is gonna, gonna magically just give you, like you sow a thousand dollars to a church, give a um, church a thousand dollars. So magically in like three days, you'll get back $10,000. Like, you'll, you'll get a check in the mail for $10,000 out of nowhere. You know? This, this, is, this is the type of things that this church teaches. They don't teach you about the wrath of the Heavenly Father. They don't teach you how to fear the Heavenly Father. You know? They don't talk about prophecies. They don't talk about the prophecies, like the prophecies. said. History. History. The Israelites, they're not telling you none of that. Actually, and they're not teaching you. And they're not teaching you to fear the Lord. This is why um, people, they don't fear the Lord. You know? This is why people, they don't fear the Heavenly Father. They don't fear the Yahweh. You know? Because ultimately, what they have in their heads is that um, Cesar of Bourgier. You know? That's what they have in their minds, is Cesar of Bourgier. They don't fear the Heavenly Father. They have no fear of the Lord. Uh -oh. Matthew chapter 10 and uh, 28 it says that we are not them to kill the body but are able to kill the soul but are not able to kill the soul but rather to kill him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell are not two sparrow souls but are one and one of them shall not fall on the ground without your heavenly father that's right because the heavenly father should can kill the body and soul he can take away your body and he can do away with your soul that's a power that you must fear, you know? And, and, and not even a sparrow can fall to the ground unless the Heavenly Father uh, okays it. The sanctions, the sanctions, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, and the scriptures talk about that, you know? It's a fearful thing to fall in the hands of the living God. You know, it's a fearful thing. And, uh, the Most High is gonna make his name, Yahweh Bashim Yahushua is gonna make his, um, his name known throughout the four corners of the earth. And people are going to learn to fear the Lord again. People are going to fear Yahweh Hashem Yahushai again. You know? Right now, these people out here, they don't have fear. You know? They're not fearing the Heavenly Father. You know? Yeah, that's why I was going to say the name of the Lord. Because the, the heathen, they, they used to know about, about the Heavenly Father. They knew. They, because they see the acts that the Lord did. You know, Elijah called the fire from heaven. They said, if I be a man of God, let fire will sit down on your head. Oh, no. and, he, and many other things, man. The Lord freeing us from Egypt. All that fame went abroad across the land. That's right. You know, and, and, they, and people knew that we were the people, man. But now they don't know. That's why the, they read Psalms 83. They said, the heathen said, let us uh, make the, uh, the name of Israel to be no more in remembrance. You know, but now, like you said, the Lord, Yahweh, was your side, his name is the fear of Israel. This is uh, 18 and uh, verse 1 says, He that liveth forever created all things in Jeremy. The Lord only is righteous, and there is none other than but he who governeth the world with the palm of his hand, and all things obey his will. But he is the king of all by his power and providing holy things among them from the full thing. So all things obey the heavenly father. That's why, that's why we're not afraid because, as the Lord Yahweh Shai said, uh, when the centurions came to beat his ass, they, they told him, uh, he told them, basically, you know, you would have no power over me unless I have no father given to you. So he wasn't afraid. That's why he, he didn't fight, you know, when the centurions came to beat him. That's why he was beating him. Uh, you know, that, that centurions did, man. They had to heal him. Because he was like, look, the Heavenly Father, the Heavenly Father, uh, the Heavenly Father controls everything, so he understood that, man. So he said, my, my father's going to bring me right back, man. Right. But when he 
was on a cross. The Lord had a little moment of like kind of weakness. And he was like, you know, my father, my father, I'm down for the But then, you know, the spirit came back in and he came back and talked to the disciples again. But, you know, like he said too, if this was my kingdom, my son, my father, I was So yeah, I was trying well understood that it wasn't his kingdom, it wasn't his father. That Jew that wanted to be, that wanted to make him king, he had to disappear. Um, he had to disappear from the function. You know? Because it, it wasn't the time. He understood purpose. You know? Our Lord Yahweh Shai, he understood purpose. Purpose. You know what I'm saying? He knew purpose. He knew it wasn't the time for him to be king. And he knew prophecy had eventually be filled, fulfilled. You know? Prophecy still had to come to pass. He knew it. Um, Lord, how we try to do this already? Who's the ass of three? Because there's for everything there is a season. And a time for every purpose under the heaven. There you go. That's right. The purpose is under the heaven. Under the heaven, you know. Everything got to season. Like this, like this kingdom right here. This kingdom was only set up for a season. You know, and now that this kingdom is at its end, you know. Esau's kingdom is at its end. The sun is a, the sun is setting upon Esau's kingdom now, and the sun is slowly rising upon the kingdom of Jacob. You know, and it's spiritual too. Here it is. That we're in the um, we're in the western hemisphere. You know, in the west that's where the sun sets, but in the east right. it rises. And we're going back to our land in the east, back in the east, in the Middle East. You know what I'm saying? I said that too. We're going back to our homeland where the sun rises in the east. So, so it's spiritual. Uh, it's like, where, did, where did the Lord set up the garden? The eastward of Peter. That's right. Yeah, he said the westward. That's the, west, right. the ways of the west is death. You know that? That's, That's right. why the world hates the, the west, man. You know? Russia and all that. They hate the fucking west because the west is evil, man. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Esau rules the world, but we, when we was in our land back in the east, which the word oriental to me, east, we, 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 were, we, were, uh, we were righteous people. Yeah, that's right. We were righteous, and we're going to go back to being righteous now. Lively, you know what I'm saying? But uh, right now, you know, the land over there, our land is cursed. cursed because Esau's ruling. When we get back into the land, and everything will be blessed. You know? Everything will start to flourish. Like it's supposed to flourish, you know? But um, let me let me get this real quick. Alright, this is um 2nd Ezra chapter 6, verse 8. And he said unto me, from Esau unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him. And, you guys the mountain and the Jacob's and, the seven years. and Jacob's held forth and Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau. For Esau is the let me start that off. Let me start that seven. Okay. Alright, verse seven. Then he answered I and said, What shall be the part of the southern of the time? Or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followed? So what is the end? Over here in the west, this is where the sun sets, you know, in the, in the end, you know. But over in the east, that's where it begins, you know, that's a new beginning, that's where the sun rises in the east, you know. And he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born, of him Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau, for Esau is the end of the world. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. You know? So right now we're in Esau's kingdom. Esau's kingdom is, is to, to the further where the earth, you know, to the western hemisphere, where the sun um, sets. Well, when our kingdom gets set up, you know, the kingdom of Israel, you know, are going to be set up in the east, where the um, where the sun rises, you know. And the Lord thought these the other was part of the earth. That's right. Huh? He spoke to the they didn't know what he was talking about, but you know now we know. It's also known as the rare of the earth, which is a 
rare is the end. You know? That's why you would, you would hear people talk about their rare end. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is this is this is the rare end of the earth. You know the West. You know the butt the butt hole of the world. Yeah, the butt hole of the world. Bro. And it smells too dark. It smells dark. <laughs> it's dark. It's it's filthy. It's, it's filthy. It's hairy. You know nobody likes it. This is where all this shit comes out. That's right. And that's a good analogy for this place. Huh? That's yeah. I always love to use that analogy. Yeah. It's perfect. It's uh, Isaiah 34, 30, 43. And uh, it's not the first verse. But now, thus saith the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed thee, and I have called thee by thy name, thee by thy name, and thou art mine. Uh, verse, jump down to verse 5. To the point, it says, Fear not, for I am with thee, and I will bring thy seed from the east, and gather thee from the west. And I will say to the north, Give up, and to the south, Keep not back, and bring my sons from the far, and my daughters from the ends of the earth. And it's over here. And we're all going to go right back to you know, our land. But first, as I said, got to be destroyed. It's, it's cursed. But you got a, you got a damn bastard over there, man. And everyone that is called by my name, for I have created him for my glory, I have formed him, yeah, I have made him. But not everybody is called by the most high's name, man. Not everybody, you know, like this club, this, uh, this guy, this, you know, I don't know, he might be his life form, but he came up last week, you know, he, he walked by Smock again. You know, he thinks every, every, everybody can just make it, you know, all the nations. Well, the Lord said those that are called by His name. You know, not all nations in the world are called by His name. Okay. Just because, like you said earlier, that, uh, the name of the Lord is dreadful among the heathen. You know what I'm saying? So not everybody is called by the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua. All nations are not called by the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua. Even though we have Israelite foreigners that may look like these other nations, that may look like a so-called Japanese or Chinese or a Hamite, or you know what I'm saying, or Edomite, or you know of, of, the, of these other nations, you know what I'm saying. But ultimately, if their seed line doesn't go back to these people on the sun right here, then you know the name is Judah. Yeah, man, you got a lot of so-called white people that look like so-called white people that are Egyptian. Yeah, man. Hey, look at this, man. Leonardo DiCaprio, Tom Brady. These singers sting. Uh, they are even people like Jake's, man. Uh, 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 this is Kevin. I mean, the list goes on and on and on, man. Ross Stewart. No. Ross Ra Stewart. Yeah, yeah. Ross Stewart is definitely a Jake. Yeah. I know, man. We love him. Yeah. That's a bad man. That's yeah, a bad yeah. man. Yeah. Uh, you know, Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris. He's in a life of Jake. Yeah. Uh, John Travolta. John Travolta. That's a nigga right there. Yeah, gone. You know, gone. You know, he's just like a Jake. Yeah. You know, all these different English football players like David Beckham and they're gone. Yeah, yeah. 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 Because these people on the side, especially uh, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, they grew those um, the boards, you know what I'm saying? You know, we left our seed over there, over there in um, Italy, you know, in Ireland, you know, so you know, our seed is spread all over the uh, all over the earth. You know? Our seed is all over the earth. So we left our seed all throughout the four corners of this earth. And thou thyself shalt discontinue from thy heritage that I gave thee. And I will cause thee to serve thy enemies in the land which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire in my anger, which shall burn forever. That's right, you know, we should discontinue from our inheritance. Because once we got over here to the Americas, that's when we got our nationality coming out of us. You know what I mean? And that's where we, we lost the name, you know. We 
just a, we just lost our inheritance. Now we're being called a color, you know what I'm saying? Our nationality now here is based upon a color. You know, our nationality is based upon a color. We're calling ourselves black, you know? Which, you know, I just did a video, you know? Black is just a color, it's not a nationality. Because at the end of the day, we're not really black with different shades of brown. You know? We have different, we're different shades of brown. We come in different, uh, different colors. Just like the earth. Yeah, just like the earth. Even though when you read the book of um, you read the book of uh, Jeremiah, the 14th chapter, and the second verse, it says that Judah born of in the gates there are language, they are black onto the ground. But if you go to the in the Hebrew, the word is good. Of uh, Kadar, which just means dark skin. You know? So we come in different sh um, colors, different shades of dark brown, light brown. You know, we're just different shades of brown. We're not black. Nowhere in the, uh, you know, like I pointed out, you know, like, uh, like when you read the book of, uh, I think, Son Son Solomon. Yeah, he's black but covered, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, Maybe. It's like that, it's like, yeah, yeah, so-called black people think they're ugly because it's, you know, dark. Exactly. Because this world has perpetuated stereotypes for, like, being black and being ugly. Yeah, that, that's due to the curses. That's due to the curses. It's due to the curses of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. You know, that the Mosai would bring our enemies up, up, up on high in the army um, and we would be brought down low. Yeah. Very low. Hey, but, hey, but I say this, black woman is like this. Let's keep it like that. Uh, that's the truth. It is the truth. Because the Lord, because the Lord uh, made her ass like this. Yeah, because the black woman, and she's halting, you know? Because she was halting against our men, you know? She's too halting. You know, this is why she got the curse of baldness upon her head. This is why she can't grow her hair naturally long, you know? Because the most high curse the scalp of our head, head, the crown of our head. You know, which is which is the glory of a woman, you know, to have long hair, you know. But the most high curse that. Because the black woman, she's not she just she's too proud, you know. She thinks she could serve authority over the man. You know, you be chilling, you be chilling with them, they talk shit, you talk shit, you know what I'm saying? They be like, you know, you ever seen a broke ass nigga? Uh, broke ass nigga, broke dicks, broke, you know, just just yeah, utterly yeah. just has no respect for the so-called black man whatsoever. No respect. She don't respect the so-called black man. But the time is gonna come where she's gonna be she's gonna be on her knees before uh, before her black man, before her king. She's gonna be on her knees with her face down towards the earth. Real soon. Because the scripture says, Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. That, that's where she belongs. You know? That's where she belongs. God. You know, like, like for example, Sarah. Sarah called Abraham Lord. You know, these black, these so-called black women, and not just the so-called black women, but all you tribes on the side. You know, you gonna you gonna respect your man. You gonna call your man Lord. You know, we're gonna be lords again. You gonna you gonna call us Lord. You know, you gonna learn to respect us. Like, just like coming to America. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, not the second one, but the first one, you know? That's the second one. Yeah, gone. I didn't even watch it. I didn't even bother watching that shit. Yeah, gone. You know what I'm saying? The first one. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I see you when we were younger. Yeah, gone. Yeah, hey, the first one was bad back then. Yeah, gone. Hey, yeah. but, you know, I really fucked with Vampire and Brooklyn. That was bad. That was bad. Oh, yeah, gone. Vampire and Brooklyn. I don't tell America was like a top hit. Yeah, man. Hey, and all those movies, they emasculate the so-called black man. That's right. Turn him into a, like, little faggot, man. That's right, you know? But like, like the um, Elder Apostle Gabbard. Clear as deep, right? Yeah, it's crazy, man. These people got spirits on them. Oh, man. Those dumb hits ran over the whole thing. Got a nice car. You fucking it up. Oh, that's Esau. 
the shit. And that was just a, imagine, fucking state trooper was right there too. Like the elder apostle the bar bar though, you know, when he when he did it, um, that latest video on I think it was Jake, he was a um what was he? he was a um he was he's like one of those Kevin Samuel type, you know, guy the red the red pill dies. Oh yeah, I think it was Kevin Samuel. No, it wasn't. What was Kevin Samuel? Was it AMS? Uh the Apple Mouse Carriage is Kevin? I don't know. No, it was Kevin Samuel. No, it wasn't Kevin. No, 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 it wasn't Kevin Samuel. His latest video. There's a few. There's uh, Kevin Samuels, uh, Alpha Male Strategies, uh, Steph is Cold. Uh, there's, yeah. a, there's a few of them. But I, I didn't know this particular one. Yeah. Yeah. He, he said like he a younger cat? Nah, he's a little older. But it was one of the latest videos that Elder Apostle the Bar put up. And he was examining, he was doing a uh, review on, the, um, on that movie coming to America too. And, and what it did was, it, it, um, it empowered the so-called black um, women. Because, really, you know, it all goes back to what... Um, Whoa! Oh, Coach, Coach Greg Adams. Yeah, Coach Greg Adams. Hey, that yeah, dude's hey, that dude's yeah. cool, man. Hey, if you're watching that, these are like videos, bro. Yeah, Con. You do. You can tell us by the way he talks and shit. Yeah, Con. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Greg Adams. Yeah, so, yeah. So he was going in on how these... Um, was, at the end of the day, it's out of order, you know? It's, um, the so-called white man setting them, um, the women over the men. That's out of order. And he's doing it for a reason, too. He's doing it for a reason because he knows that there's more women on this planet than there are men. And he knows that women will generate more money, you know? And that, that helps him generate more money, more, more revenue. So he's doing it for a purpose because this devil, he's a greedy, he's a greedy fuck. Know? And not not just for him to just gain more money, but also to destroy the structure of the family. Because when you have the woman ruling over the man, that destroys the foundation of the family. Now there's no order. Now there's disorder. You know, and it causes the man. You know, when um, when you have constantly have a woman not in our place. You know, going back and forth for the man. That will cause the man. The Rockefeller has said. Rockefeller has said we gave the women money uh, uh, so they could tax them. Exactly. So they could bring in the taxes. Exactly. They were done, it was done for tax purposes. Not because they give a shit about you. Exactly. Huh. Over there in France, they got women uh, protesting naked and shit. You know, with their titties out. You know. Because that's the wine of America. Huh. Yeah, that's the philosophy. Because they seen America with women protesting. Yeah. So they do it over there, man. Because huh. back back in, in, the, in the ancient time, well, you know, years ago, you, know, you, you had the women in order over there in Europe. You know, for, for the most part. Not only that, over there in Iraq, you know, you, you, got, you got these women over there in Iraq, now they're starting to twerk. Now they're doing twerking. Oh, they put, they put a, a bitch in jail in Egypt. Uh, you remember that? That was like a year ago. Oh, they, they, put her, they put her black ass in jail because 
she was twerking, like you said. Yeah, so, so they just threw her in jail for three years. Exactly. Yeah, that's it. That's so this wine, you know, this philosophy is spreading throughout these nations, and now these nations are mad. You know? yeah. And over there, and over there in the east, over there with Ishmael, over there, you know what I'm saying? In Afghanistan, this is why they're fighting so viciously over there. This is why they're fighting like hell. Because, you know, they don't want that bullshit in their country. They don't want this philosophy or the ways of, of America in their land. You know, because they, this, they know the result of it. They see the result. You know? The degradation of society. You know, they come out prancing around half naked, you know, showing their ass. You know? You know, showing their, their, their breasts naked. So, wait a minute. So, wait a minute. Hold on a second. <laughs> they, can, <laughs> they, <laughs> they can come out like that in public, half naked, but don't expect for, for somebody to grab them up. Yeah, man. Take them, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. They, yeah, go ahead. they say, well, we can dress naked and no man can touch us and have sex. Like, what are you thinking? Like, wait till all hell breaks loose when there's no problem. Then what? Are you still going to come out naked? You know, are you still going to have that proud spirit? You're going to come outside naked, you know? around a bunch of fucking horny, you know, aggressive men? Are you still gonna have that mentality? Hell no! You're not gonna have that mentality in that, in that day. You know? Because there's not gonna be nobody around to protect you. This is why the scripture says, you know. But how about Shim Shai? He's about to come and turn things right side up. You know? Everything is gonna be put in its proper place. Now everything is disorganized and upside down. You know, confusion. But the most High is coming to um, to make it right, to put things right side up, and to make cricket straight. You know. This is the society we're living. We're living in a barbaric society, you know? Because ultimately, a woman have no business. You don't see a woman, you know, chilling with a bunch of dudes, you know? What do you expect to happen? And that next thing you know, they end up drugging the bitch and then having, <laughs> having that way, having a way with her. It is true, you know? And that's judgment from the Lord. Huh? Because these women are a horse. So the Lord, the most high judges them. And then they wake up the next day like, oh, or, or, or some of them, they, they, they kind of like that shit. That's right. Because these women are twisted. They're twisted in the mind, man. Yeah, they fucking, they're, they're, they're fucking twisted in the mind, man. This, this is Jeremiah 31. And uh, 22. It says, uh, How long shall thou go about thou backsliding daughter? For the Lord hath created a new thing in the earth. A 
woman shall compass a man. That's right, a woman shall compass a man. And this is what we're seeing in the society. These women, they get in these higher uh, positions, you know, they're making more money than men. They get these um, comfy, comfy, cozy jobs. You know, they're up in executive offices and shit. You know, giving out orders and shit. Back in the day, they had to screw the boss. Now, nowadays, nowadays they, they don't even have to screw the boss. Oh, yeah, that's it. Oh. Oh, This is prophecy being fulfilled. You know, that's prophecy being fulfilled. That's prophecy actually coming to pass. But there's a flip side to it because eventually they're gonna lose all of that. You know, their high positions that they have. You know, they're gonna eventually lose all of it because it says this in all. Uh, 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 better than just shit, man. 
Like us working in the field, you worked in the field too, but not like we did. You know, we was working. In the All you had to do is give up your box to the. Oh, oh, yeah, they have no, they have no, uh, they have no um, say so. But all you had to do is sneak up massive you know, and bring him fourth seed, which that is a tear. Uh, you know, that's not of our nation, but a concubine. Nevertheless, well, we pretty much run the next game. They, they just need to listen. So, this is why, you know, that in the day, you know, especially in society, this is why, that's why that scripture says, I'm only sure for Pastor Mary, you know, because at the end of the day, she can, um, you know, she can sell her body, you know, for money, you know, make all kinds of money, go on trips. You know, she can go on trips and things like that. Yeah, you got women, all they do is fly around and take trips. You're like, how the hell is a man can do that shit? Unless he was like some super ripped guy that, that, that bitches like and shit, you know? But for the most part, a man gotta, you know? And this is just the average woman. The average woman. She doesn't even have to be like, like a model type chick, exactly. You know, she's out there, you know? Because we live in a, a society that's based on woman worship, man. Even Christianity is fucking woman worship. Because they, 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 they put the, the Virgin Mary in the high ass pedestal. The lawyer how should I cussed cuss his mother out, man. That's right. He cussed her ass out. He said, woman, what is that? Uh, what is that to do with me, man? You know? That's right. He said, that my father, my mother, you know? She, she came to him and, and, and you know, uh, they were making a feast. And she went, oh, because she knew the lawyer how should I had that power, man, making some bread and wine. And the lawyer cussed her ass out, man. The Lord pushed the ass out. Yeah. The you know? Lord wasn't a woman worshiper like you so called Christians, right? That's right. Read it on. It says, Tremble, you women that are at ease. Be troubled, you kill this one, strip you, and make you bare, and gird up sackcloth upon your loins. They shall, they, they shall lament for the, um, for the, for the, for the treats. For the teats, and such like, they shall lament for the teats, for the um, pleasant field, for the fruit of uh, wine. Yeah, because you ain't gonna have shit. You ain't gonna have husbands. You, you know, uh, the streets speak about you mourning for your husbands too. You ain't gonna have no husbands, and then you are gonna be running around selling yourself. You know, that's right. You're gonna be running around selling yourself. Man. And what are the teats? With? The teats are the, um, the money that you get. You got the trips, you got the goodies. You got the goodies. Because right now you live off the government, man. You, know? you live off the government and you live off the society which is made for you. That's what it is. Not only just the government, but also, you know, Simpsons. Simps, you know. And Esau created Simps. That's right. Esau is the, <laughs> Esau's the, Esau's the ultimate Simp, you know? Esau is the ultimate Simp on the planet. You know? <laughs> and so as the, uh, just like the scripture says, so is the leader, so is the king as the people, as he said, you know? So, the, uh, so you know, Esau done created this whole simp culture and have our men in the simp mentality, you know? So it was all done by Esau. Yeah. And if you, if, you, if you try to be like a real man, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you look at it as a toxic message. Especially you gotta bow down to me. Yeah. Especially this brother, um, there was a Jake over down in Dallas, Texas. You know what I mean? There it is, he set up a, 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 his own black owned business, like a, a restaurant. You know, he's playing music, you know what I mean? And you got the nigga woman in there getting up on tables and start twerking on tables and shit. So he had to cut the music off and set it straight. And said, you know what I'm saying, this is not a place for twerking. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, you you seen that video, right? Yeah, yeah, he was yeah, like, yeah. don't do it here. Don't be standing up on the tables twerking here. If you want to do that, go to the club. You know, get the fuck up on my restaurant because this is not a place to walk. You know, once he set that tone and once he, put, you know, he put his foot down, now you had the nigga woman all saying, oh, you're bashing me. Oh, why are you playing the twerking music again? And all this bullshit, you know? But there it is. He set up a restaurant, you know, for his, you know, for his people to have a good time, you know, enjoy themselves. 
not to be getting up on tables twerking and shit. That's you it. Know? That's it. He's trying to protect his assets. He's, he's protecting his business. That's it. Because say if you fall, now you're gonna sue him. You know, you fall off the table, you break your leg. Now he's in a lawsuit. You know. So he had to set it straight. You know, he was set in order in his in his establishment, in his business. And the nigga woman couldn't respect that. You know? She wanna say, oh you're bashing me. Then why you gonna play twerking music? You're bashing women. <laughs> you had these women that had a problem with that. Brother, you know what I'm saying? Brother just said it's crap. Yeah, so I'm all this crap about bashing women and your 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 male is jumping this all this. All that shit is bullshit, man. That's right. Because the, the man can, the man has power over the woman, man. That's right. He can do what the hell he wants to do with that woman as long as it's not against the law. You know, if he wants to cuss her ass out, but she being wicked, there ain't no. If he, if she being a hoe, and you tell her she being a hoe, oh, that's evil. You're, you're being a, you know, you're not respecting women. You gotta respect us. You, your job is to respect us. We're your lords. That's like us trying to tell the heavenly father. Exactly. You know, Con. the Heavenly Father, he can't tell him what to do. He owns us. We own right. you. We own you with us. Exactly. We own We're your gods. We're your gods, man. You know? gonna tell us what the fuck to do. You came up from us, man. That's right, you know? That's like us telling the lawyer how I shy with you. Exactly. Con. You're tripping, man. Out of order. Yeah, out of order. You don't tell us what to do. I don't listen to no fucking order, man. Right. At the job, you know, so you got, you got to, it's pissing me off. Yeah, that's right. It's good to say honor your mother, you know, honor, you know, whatever the case may be. But, you know, she know, she know not to talk to me no, no way, you know. And I cuss her ass out. That's right. You know, no, no, but, but we have a good relationship, so, you know. But, you know, hey, yeah, sometimes, sometimes you got to play it off like that. Sometimes you got to, yeah. You know, you got to, you got to play it off like that sometimes. You got the job, you have a woman supervising you. You gotta just go with the flow. But in the back of your mind, you're like, oh, fuck you. You know what I'm saying? The hell? You know, you're looking yeah. at her, you know. Yeah, that's why this place is gonna be destroyed, man. Yeah, fun. We got women police officers and shit, man. What the hell is a woman police officer, man? Exactly. What the hell is that, man? Exactly. You know? <laughs> Yo, I was watching this episode, right? On, on cops, right? So you had a female officer that, that pulled over a man. You could just tell that, that that man didn't have no respect for that woman. So when the woman, because he had a warrant for his arrest and she looked it up on the computer, so she went back to the car and she was, he was like, she was like, do me a favor, get out the car. So he was like, what? You know, he questioned her, like, what? And she was like, you have a warrant. So, you know, and then he was like, he, he tried to, she tried to force him, she tried to open the door, try to pull him out the car. <laughs> 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 You fucking yanked the door, closed the door, and spit off on him. It was two, it was two women cops. The, one, the other cop tried to rush in. He ended up pushing her out of the car. You know what I'm saying? They got away. They tried to chase him, but he got away. You know what I'm saying? The only way a woman can overpower him, yeah. a, 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 a real man is, is with a gun or, uh, you know, taking him by surprise or some shit. You know, but there's, there's no. That's, that's why, you know, in the armies, in the great armies, there was no women. But men, when you, when you read David's Mighty Men, there was no woman up in there, man. That's right, you know. David's Mighty Men, man. The three hundred. Another thing too is beyond madness. It's beyond. Madness. Like that's you know having a woman in the army, you know, it's just it's just beyond madness. You know what I mean? Because look at these women; they get raped. You, you hear stories about these women getting raped, killed, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and um, end up end up covering it up. Like for example, like there was this um. I, she was off the lot in one of the Latin tribes. You know? Oh, there. she. Oh, Vanessa. Yeah. Yeah, Vanessa Guillen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. In uh, California, right? Yeah, California. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they ended up taking her, you know, man. They had to, you know, take it. You know, taking her, had to had her work with her. And she looked good, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah she, she was alright. She was alright. Yeah, she was alright. So who wouldn't, you know what I'm saying? So what man wouldn't want to grab that up? They, ki they killed her ass. Yeah, they killed her. They killed her, threw her in the ditch. Yeah. And then they, they did an investigation on it. I, I, yeah, yeah, I spread out the video. That was like last year. Yeah, me too. So. And, uh, and uh, they did an investigation on the bitch. And they never found nothing. Exactly. They never found nothing. They covered, they covered it up. They covered it up. Just like the, another one. You know, her name was Lavina Johnson. You know, of the, um, of the, of the, of the, of the, of the, same thing. 
know, she went over there thinking that she was going to fight for our country, you know, following our father's footsteps. Next thing you know, you know, she ended up getting a, um, a train ran on her, you know, gang raped, killed, and they covered it up right in front of their face. You know, and they did an autopsy on our body and they found that some type of acid was poured inside our body, you know, inside our navel. Hey, that's all that is just, yeah, that's just the Lord, just okay, because you, you're, because you're, you're clothing strange apparel. That's right. You go in there and you're serving your army, you're serving, the, you're serving your enemy. The Lord don't like this shit, man. And you're out of order. You know, because the scripture says this. And you, 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 you nigga men in the army too, you nigga judge too. Oh, yeah. You in the fucking army, man. You got no business in the army. Yeah, uh, yeah, one of the elders that was in the army. Uh, uh, West Coast. Jake goes into the army because you know they pay for college and uh, you know it's like a, it's like an honor to be a fucking in the army some bullshit. But really, you, you give your life unto a damn devil for nothing. And he, Harry Kissinger said, and I quote, he said, uh, 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 "Army men are, 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 are like fucking beasts, something like that, man." He said that like you know they're like dumb idiots, dumb animals, dumb savages, you know. And, and all wars are bankers' wars, man. Right. So if you go to the army, you, you fight for a whole damn devil, man. You know, you're fighting for a damn devil. To the That's why, you know, Jake's, you know, if y'all get you get caught up in that, you're going to get caught up in the Valley of Jehoshaphat. Valley of Jehoshaphat. You know what I'm saying? That, that, and that great, you know, judgment. Yeah. 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 I remember, I remember, uh, I remember when I was in school and shit, they, they used to come to the, they used to come to the cafeteria and shit, and try to recruit Jake, I was like 17, whatever, 16, they used to, they used to come in there with their suits and you could sign up and shit, you know, for the fucking army, you know, because, you know, a lot of Jakes, they got nothing going on in their life, so they just sign up, and you get paid, like, you know, you get paid shit, but, you know, you, you get a free education or whatever, yeah, that's right. but, you know, what, this, what, what if you die out there, man? That's right. Yeah. But it was never in my spirit anyways. Just, 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 I didn't want to do none of that shit. The spirit just had me, you know, going a different path, you know, eventually come to this truth. But, I, you know, a lot of my so-called friends in the world, you know, a lot of them went to the army, man. Because you know, it's like an easy path to go. You ain't nothing but Goya for me to go to the army. You're cattle, man. And, then, and the first ones on the front line is the nigga and the stick. They must, that's it. Crackers, they'll send crackers with white, white trash. They'll send a, a red mix and shit. That's right. Damn military. Military corrupt, man. They kill our people, man. Who <laughs> was supposed to protect the draft? Military corrupt. It's like everything in this place is corrupt. Like, Uh, so this is the book of Titus, chapter um, two, verse three. Uh, ch uh, chapter, chapter two, verse two, exactly. Um, now let me start that one. But speak down to the things which become sound, um, sound doctrine, that the aged man be sober, breathe. Read temp um, temperate, sound in faith, and chaste and patience, that the aged woman likewise, that um, that they will be in behavior as becoming holiness, not false accusers, not given to much wine, teachers of good things, that they that they may teach the young women to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their husbands and to love their children, to be discreet. Chase keepers at home, good obedience to their own husbands, that the word of the Most High not blaspheme. Keepers at home, you know. Like, our women, they don't belong in the home. They belong in the house, you know. They belong in, in the um, in the home under their husband. They don't belong out there on the front lines trying to fight for their country or trying to shoot and kill. You know what I'm saying? Hey, when that black woman came up the other day down here. 
And we were arguing with that Israelite foreigner. Gone. She was blaspheming the word. Yeah. That's the scripture said. She was out of order. She was blaspheming the word. When you women talk too goddamn much, you're blaspheming the word. Hey, part, part of part of you being a daughter of Zion is you shutting your mouth. She was saying in Syracuse 26 and 14, uh, a, si a silent and loving woman is a gift from the Lord. A gift. Yeah, it's a gift. It's a gift. You ever heard of a black woman shutting her mouth? Never? You ain't never heard that. Uh, she's always fucking talking. The, the Latino woman, too. She's always talking, too. Yeah, you know, you gotta hear soft stories and you know, all this crap. I don't wanna, I don't care. Just go make me a sandwich, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just go make me a sandwich. That's right. All I care about, the two, they women, men are simple, man. You know, we don't give a shit about all that crap, man. Yeah, sometimes I want to talk, but you know, most of the time I don't want to hear your fucking mouth. Because you talk too much. You ask me one little question. Exactly. I'm tell you about this. But uh, keep quiet. You know, let the woman learn in silence. Learn in silence. That's it. That's it. That's it. <clears throat> but just to bring balance to it, this is uh, uh, Second John, Second John, chapter two and one. The elder unto the elect lady and her children, whom I love in the truth, and not only I also, but they that have known the truth, for truth's sake, which dwelleth in us, and shall be with us forevermore. You know, so yeah, there are elect women out there, you know? But they're gonna be saved just so we can uh, we can reproduce. So that's 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 the uh, that's the uh, that's the whole purpose of women, man. Yeah, come on. Reproduction, the Lord said be fruitful and multiply. One of the tribes, Ephraim, we call aquarium, Means to be fruitful, fruitful. Cause you see, you see Puerto, Puerto Ricans, man. Puerto Ricans are a little ass island. They're all over the place, man. Oh. And, and they're they're one of the most successful of, of, of the Latin tribes, man. Man, the Puerto Ricans got the Puerto Ricans are amazing, bro. The, what they do, you know? They they dominate their fucking ML, MLB. Uh, they dominate. There's this. They got tons of singers, tons of actors. Tons, I mean, they're all over the place, man. They're in all kinds of industries because they're so. Bad bunny, it's just bad. Oh, yeah. I like that guy. I like that guy. Oh, like that guy. Well, yeah, even um, you know, if I may say this too, uh, even yeah, they, they're coming up. Ephraim is coming up. You know, he does all big time. You know, I was watching wrestling. You know, what I'm saying that you got Bad Bunny up there, and uh, along with another Ephraim wrestler. You know, what I'm saying. So Ephraim is just coming up real fast. You know. Bad Bunny was wrestling? Yeah. Yeah. Man, I wish this nigga would fuck him up. Oh, uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, he's such an asshole. Yeah, because um, yeah, he has another Puerto Rican wrestler with him. Because they're, they're like tag team. Oh, he did a song with Booker T. Yeah, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Try it. Come together. <laughs> yeah. So that's the spirit, because Ephraim, Ephraim is now coming up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the tribes are spiritually coming together. You know what I'm saying? One of the first Ephraimites that made it big was uh, J Lo, man. Yeah, J Lo. J Lo with her fine ass. But now, now J Lo look like shit, man. Exactly. You know, now she look like shit. But it, either way, but man. You know, you know what she had to do. But either, either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you know. She didn't. She, she, she just didn't just get up. She didn't just get up. You know, you know. She was doing all kind of shit. She took the oath, man. Yeah, she took the oath. She took the oath. But whore. She's a whore, yeah. <laughs> that's that's how. That's a, you know, for a woman to really be up, they got, you know, they got to be Beyonce. I say Sierra, uh, Carrie, uh, Carrie Hilson, uh, Nick Manao, and Nick Manao, she, she, she got two demons on her, one of them named Roman. Exactly. Uh, uh, well, the latest one, Cardi B. Cardi B, Christine Melian. All of them. All of them. Um, Christine Aguilera was a nigga woman too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she was bad too back in the day. But uh, you see all these, all of our women, when they, when they make it big, they all got to sell out, man. All of them, every single last one of them. Got to take the whole Tiana Taylor, her black ass. She, she, she's over there with Armand Shumper. They both sold out. And, 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 and the elites kicked kick, uh, Armand Shumper off the team, man. He said, You can't be on here no more. Your ass is trash. Yeah. But yeah, man, these celebrities, they got they got to take oaths too. LeBron and them. You know? Hey, LeBron, LeBron said he wasn't going to take the job, man. Well, well, he said he didn't know. People were criticizing him. Because they want everybody to say, Because when you take that money, you got you to gotta go with the program. That's right. So, so they were expecting LeBron to say, yeah, 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 let's go take the jab, guys. You know, because the NBA, they're all about 
being socially politically correct. And shit. That's why they were so mad at Alan Iverson. You know? Yep. Back in the day, Alan Iverson, they was like practice, practice. You know, because Alan Iverson was really like a rebel. Yeah, that's right. You know? That's why they, they they fucked his career up. Man. Exactly. If you don't get with the program, that fuck you. <laughs> it's all, it's all fuck you up. This is why they have to go with it. You know, this is why when you see um, these football players, like these football players, when they start speaking out, you know, you know, they start making anti-Semitic comments and shit. They gotta retract their, um, they gotta retract their statement and give a public apology. You know what I'm saying? And if they don't, that's when they lose out on that money. That's how they get you. Got a scripture. Got a scripture. Yeah, oh, one that comes to mind. Now that you mention NFL players, Larry Johnson, man, one of the big time guys that we talked about, uh, you know, conspiracy theories, so called, and all this. We even talk about the Illuminati. We talk about that. But Larry Johnson retired years ago. But uh, he's a bad. He, I think he, was, he won an MVP and shit. Uh, uh, you know, in the, in the early 2000s, man. But he was a bad. Him and Priest Holmes, man. You know, they were playing for the Chiefs. But either, anyway. Uh, yeah, you got a lot of NFL players. Hey, one of the brothers from Charlotte was playing in the NFL. Yeah. One, of the brothers, one of the brothers, he was like a tight end or whatever. But uh, yeah, when, when you're in that life, man, it's hard to go walk away. But you're making a little shitload of money now. That's right. You know, you got all types of women around you and shit. So it, the, the, the devil gonna present you with goodies, man. You know, the, the so-called white man, the devil, that's it. He gonna present you with fucking goodies, man. When you, when you up there, you know, you're living good. Cause you living good. Because it's niggas from the hood. That's right. You know? Because when you look at these little white boys, you know, he doesn't really use them as, as a, uh, you know, how many white boys you seen in the dress? I agree with you. Yeah, I see that. But you see Eddie Murphy was in the dress. Kevin Hart was in the dress. Tyler Perry. He built his billion dollar empire off dressing like Medea. Exactly. Yeah. I used to think that shit was funny, but, you know, now I came to the truth. Yeah, yeah that shit's now, garbage. Yeah, yeah. That shit's abomination. It's abomination. Who else? Uh, Arsenio Hall. But now he wants to try to, you know, get up in the church. You, you notice that he's he's up in the church now, trying to preach and give his sermon. Because oh, he, oh, that's uh, Tyler Perry. Oh, is it Steve Harvey? Uh, both of them. Uh, Tyler Perry and Steve Harvey. Harvey, just like a woman too. Yeah. You know, now you're seeing Tyler Perry. You know, up on TBN, like um, Joel Osteen and T.D. Jakes. You know, giving sermons and shit. Because he knows deep down. You know, he knows deep down what he had to do. He's, and, our, and our people, they got that conscience, you know? Richard Pryor? Yeah, God, Richard Pryor too. Yep. They got that, you know, our people, they got a conscience, you know? And, that, and, that, and that's that story. Because the scripture says our spirit bears witness that we are the children of the living God. So even though, you know, they got that conscience with them, you know? What they had to do, you know, and what they had to do to get what they, um, to get what they need to get. Yeah, that's the difference between us and Esau. We have a conscience. You sound ain't got no fucking remorse, man. Nah. Let me look up the, the, the word remorse. What is it? Oh, yeah, I was going to put that. Let me see. Here we go. Remorse. That's a bad word. It says intense and painful regret. Due to conscience of guilt. Gone. Due to conscience of guilt. The pain of a guilty conscience. Deep regret with self condemnation. And writing back on. In return, so the most I can send the angel put spirit on you. Like, you know that shit's wrong. You know? And that's why people commit suicide. That's right. You see a lot of these entertainers, man, they fucking commit suicide, man. That's why you see all they're, they're all on drugs and shit. Like Lil Wayne, you see Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne is 24-7, 365 is intoxicated, man. Because he knows what he had to do with Birdman. <laughs> you know what he had to do with all this leader coin and all that, man. You know, all these all these celebrities, that's why he tattooed them all over his face. Because you know? tattoo is like a way to like, like cut yourself, you know? Yeah, come. Many people cut themselves and shit yeah. to like numb the pain. Yeah, but they can't do it because they, those are spirits that are like messing with them. Yeah, they're, they're condemned in their mind. Oh, this is fucked up. Blesses he whose conscience hath not condemned him, and who's not who is not fallen from his hope in the Lord. You know, 
wrong. So your conscience has to be clean, man. Because if you let your conscience, all the shit that you've done, your conscience messing with you, you know, you 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 uh you be in a dangerous space, man. Yeah. You know, and that's where these celebrities are in, because they, because they're uh, because they're uh, their pact that they made with the devil, with death has been disannulled. Uh, Covenant with death. Yeah, because eventually I'll catch up with you. Oh yeah. They call it karma, but really it's the Lord. Yeah. That karma shit that go back to the uh, the, uh, the Elamites, man. That's right. Uh, the the, the uh, Indians, so called Indians, so called East Indians. It says uh, Isaiah 28 and 15 it says you have you have said we have made a covenant with death, and with hell are we in a, an agreement? And the overflowing spirit shall pass through, and it shall not come unto us, for we have made lives our rhythm. And under the falsehood have we hid ourselves. So when you, when you, when you Jake out there, you sell out, you make a covenant with death and hell. That's right. With, with this damn devil, because he, 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 he's, he's working with left hand side magic, man. You know, all, and you come down under, underneath his vibration, and you push his agendas. You push his gay agendas, you push his homosexuality, you push his. Democracy, push everything. That's why you see all these celebrities out there talking about vote, go vote. You know, take the Maxine, take the chip, take this, take that. They use them all because they pay them all off. That's right. You know, and if you notice too, if you, if you notice it too that the brothers, brothers' channels when they talk more about the vaccine and the shit they get in their channels, oh, yeah, like you said, you know, because we're we're in that time. We're in that time where these, where these things are about to come to pass. And Esau, you know, he's trying to do his best to suppress it as much as he can. But the thing, the thing is, you know, he can't overthrow it. Because the scripture says if this if this work be of men, it will come to uh, be of men, it will come to naught. But if it be of the most high, he can't overthrow it. You know? Because what we're doing is of Yahweh Shim Shai. It's not of men. We're not out here out of our own religion, you know. Right. This is all sanctioned through the spirit and power of our Lord Yahweh Hashem Yah Shai. You know, the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yah Shai sanctioned this, and sanctioned that this word should go out, you know, throughout the four corners of the earth. Because the Lord said, "Let me get that real quick." You know what I'm saying? Nah, I got. Oh, 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 you get that? At Acts 5 and 38. Now I say unto you, refrain from these men, and let them alone. And if this counsel or this work be of men, it will come to naught. That's right, if this counsel and this work be of men, it will come to naught. So it won't it won't flourish. You know? But like the scripture says, go ahead on. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I'm just gonna say uh I mean if we want to be that scripture. I mean, keep reading. Keep reading that. Uh, it says, uh, verse 39, But if it be of the Most High, you cannot open the door. Lest happily he be found even to fight against the Most High. That's right. You know, so if it be of the Most High, you cannot open the door. Because Esau, he's trying his best to suppress the truth. You know? He's trying his very best, you know, to keep this truth hidden. You know, but he, he can't, you know? Because now this truth is coming out, and it's coming out full-fledged, you know? It's coming out full-fledged, um, you know, in a hurry. You can't stop it. You can't stop it. That's what I'm saying. You can't. Now, against the truth, but for the truth. That's right. He's, you know, when Esau demonizes us, what happens? More people see it. That's right. That's why they have a saying in the world called, they say, uh, there's no such thing as bad publicity. That's right. Because you get more publicity. Exactly. You know, people speak ill on you, but then they look you up, and they're like, oh. Actually saying, they're actually saying the truth. And then you see, you have Esau is really doing our work for us because he's putting our, us out there. That's right. You know, next thing we know, if one of the hopeful electors watch that, they can see it. He, he sees it, he does his he hears the word, and he starts doing the work. He goes out, he sets up a camp, you know, and he starts putting up and starts put, pushing the street. And that's that's through the power of your Shai. 
because all over the world, the, the elect is being woken up all over the world. You know, brothers are waking up all over the world. You know, people may see us, you know what I'm saying, and they see that like, there's only a couple of us that are out, that are doing this. But, you know, little do they know that there's brothers all over the world that are out there on the highways and byways preaching this word. You know? Brothers we never even heard of. We never even heard of, you know? There's so many brothers out there. If you, if you even tried to like keep count, you couldn't. Exactly. Brothers in all major cities, in, in, especially in America. Uh, but, you know, you got brothers in Germany, uh, Holland, Costa Rica, you got one brother out there. Um, you, had, you got brothers in Mexico, Australia, you got brother out there. Australia, Australia. Australia, land, land down under. You know what I'm saying? You got the islands of the sea. Islands of the sea. You got brothers in Trinidad, Trinidad Barbados, you know, Jamaica. Diana. I think there was a brother out there in the uh, Dominican Republic. In DR, yeah. Yeah, DR. Yeah, yeah. yeah brothers in Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Yeah, brothers in uh, Tanzania. Tanzania. Yeah, brothers in Tanzania. Yeah, GMS. Yeah, Tanz uh, 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 Congo. I think. Yeah, Congo. Or South Sudan. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is not just here in America. It's yeah. all over the world. Oh, England. Yeah. England. Yeah. England. Yeah. 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 Good, 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 good men. Soldiers. Yeah, come. Soldiers. <laughs> I think I heard a rumor that there was a brother out in China. So yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, you know, probably hey, there. You, know, you, got, you know, you got a Chinese guy kicking the word. You know, he's like yeah. this speaking in a... Uh, speaking in Hebrew. Yeah, come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be bad, man. But the Lord is that powerful. He can do that. That's right. So this thing is all over the world. Here it's only for the few. Man. It ain't for the masses, man. That's why you're gonna have a small amount of brothers doing this, and then you're gonna have a small amount of believers. That's right. That's it. That's all the Lord needs. The Lord don't need. The Lord don't need the whole goddamn world, man. You because know? what's gonna happen to the world is gonna be smoke, a nuclear right. fire. The Lord don't. Need. If the Lord wanted everybody to come in, He would just make this thing universal. That's what the Catholics, right? Catholic means universal. I think. Uh, yeah. Universal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's it. We ain't fucking Catholics, man. How many problems are not dealing with Catholics? The Lord dealing with the 12 tribes of Israel. Starting with the so called Negro on down to the Messi. You know, and then all you other, you know, foreigners that are scattered in Brazil. Because the reason they have the sign, people are like, you know, they bug out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What about the rest of the world? Well, this is mainly where we were brought to slavery. This is where the main deliverance is going to be here in Babylon. You know how long the sign will be if we mention every country that's in the world? That's right. We got Jake's everywhere, of course, but this is where the main number of the elect are going to be. That's right. Because when you. This, this is the main deliverance. When the most I put the spirit on, I put the sign together. He, he was in New York, he was just doing it for uh, mainly for the brothers here in America. Right. This is where the vast majority of the Israelites are. Anyways, right. This is where the main deliverance is going to be here in the world. Babylon the Great. You know? So you brothers that are here, you know, the Most High brought me here for this particular reason. You know? That's right. Now I could have been all the way over there, you know, on the other side of the world, and I could have gotten the truth, but I'm, I'm in the belly of the beast. We're in the belly of the beast right here. That's right. Come on. You know? Yeah. You got this all right, Matthew chapter 24, verse 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. Why all nations? Because our people are scattered in all nations. That's it's right. as simple as that. Not because the Most High is coming to save all nations. What the hell do these nations need saving? They, they themselves. They're in their salvation. They're in their salvation. Right. You know? They're in their kingdom. They're in their kingdom. So, you know, when the Shai comes, he's going to bring salvation to the nation of Israel. And like we stated before, you're going to have Israelites that may look like these other nations, you know, but they're actually Israelites. This is why it says in the book of, um, in case somebody wants to get simple, you know, get out there, get, yeah, of course, simple, you know, they want to get simple and shit. Because they'll use this scripture right here. This is what the, um, the scripture, the scripture that, that Christians will mainly use. 
um, Revelations chapter um, chapter seven verse nine. And after this, and after this, and I behold, and lo, a great multitude which no man can number, which no man can number of all nations and kindreds and peoples, tongues and and tongues stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and bonds in their hands. Great multitude of all nations, you know. Who is that talking about? That's talking about the Israelite foreigners. Yeah. Because one of our curses was back in uh, Deuteronomy. And they used to say all, all nations. All, all nations. But you gotta read. Uh, yeah, they gotta read the whole book. They gotta not yeah. though, but they gotta read. Well, yeah, right. Well, yeah, yeah, you're right. Actually, the whole book because the whole you gotta understand the history to know the mystery. That's right. You know, but but this is. Uh, this is just, just, just a precept to what that brother read. Uh, it says, uh, Revelation 5 9. And they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and open the seals thereof, for thou wast slain and hast redeemed us to the Most High by thy blood out of every kindred, tongue, and people, and nation. See? So out of all, out of these different nations, we're redeemed out of these because we, we're scattered amongst the nations. That's right. You know? That's it. And that's one of our curses. Because it says here. Yeah. Um, it says here in Deuteronomy chapter twenty eight, verse sixty four. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from one end of the earth unto even unto another. And there they shall serve other gods where which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. So as we're scattered amongst all these nations, of course we're gonna intermingle amongst the nations, amongst the nations of these other women, you know? We're gonna intermingle our seed. We're gonna mix our seed amongst the women, you know, of these other nations. Our seed is, you know, this is why you got the Sicilians out there, you know, you got, you know, that's looking like fair skin, you know, whiter skin, but they're actually Israelites, you know, because we as the Moors, you know, we killed off all the men and we had sex with the women. We took the women and we had our way with them and left our seed over there, you know what I'm saying? This is why we got, you know, some of us are looking lighter, you know? And then throughout time, you know, they they happen to lay down with another white woman and, and the seat and, and the complexion gets lighter. That's it. You know? That's just, like e that. yeah, just like Ephraim. You know, you got these simple-minded fucking Israelites that don't want to consider, you know, the, uh, the Northern tribe Israelites. You know, because they may look like a lighter skin. But the scriptures talk about Ephraim, that Ephraim is a king not turned. You know, when you turn a cake, you have one side that is light, and then you have the other side that is very dark, you know? But they want to consider the darker um, Ephraimites Ephraim, but not the lighter ones. You know, and, and it's like that with all, it's not just Ephraim too. It's like that with all the tribes, you know, because we were scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, you know? I, I got so this is not about color, like the um, elder apostles brought bring out. You know, it's about the seed line, the bloodline of the um, of the father. You know, uh, first Ezra chapter six and verse sixty nine. First, first chapter eight, verse sixty nine. The nation of Israel, the princes and the Levites, have not put away from the strange people of the land, nor the pollutions of the Gentiles with the, Can the Canaanites and the Hittites. Pharisites, the Jebusites, the Moabites, the Egyptians, and Edomites. For both they and their sons have married with their daughters, and the holy seed is mixed with the strange people of the land. That's the right. The holy people is mixed with the strange people of the land. You know, you, you Israelites out there, y'all don't read. Y'all call yourselves Israelites, but y'all don't, but y'all don't know the scriptures. You know, if you can't consider, if you can't see that, you know that these people are. are um, on the sign right here that they're Israelites, then you have no business even being in the truth. Because the scriptures say that we was we should speak all um, the same thing. We 
ought to speak the same thing. We ought to be of one accord. How could we be of one accord when you're thinking that, oh, like you, brother, you know, you, you got fair skin. You got exactly. a light skin. Exactly. They won't consider you an Israelite. They'll say, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a de I'm a devil. They'll say you're a heathen. I'm a cracker, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That, that's what they're saying. Oh, these guys are evil, man. You know what I'm saying? But they're not even, they're, they're not even doing the work. They're just spreading on them. Exactly. You know, the most high, you how about Shah is not dealing with you. Period. You know? And that's how bad the Lord is. He didn't use the individual. But don't even look like an Israelite. Yep. And he'll have your black ass. He'll have you lukewarm. That's right. He'll have you lukewarm or he'll have you not even knowing anything. That's right. Or he'll, he'll have you in some, in some congregation like folk, man. Gone. You know, you're up in there and you're up in there. You know, because the Kofi guy, for now, he was with he was, he was with the brothers, teaching what even my brothers and shit. Yeah. And, then, and you know, he probably didn't even like the shit. Six to eat. And then, and then he, he left and started his own thing. And he you know, came up with that doctrine where it's all Negroes. That's yeah. right. Oh, but no, all Negroes. Oh, let me finish yeah. you're, you're bugged out, man. You're bugged out. He says that from the beginning of this matter, the rulers and the great men have been partakers of this iniquity. You know? So the, uh, and the Holy Seed was mixed, man, with the divination. That's right. Not mixed in the sense that it was just, you know, the seed remains the same, but you, you, we mix basically with the women inside, you know, you pop a woman, and, you know, your child will come out, you know, get lighter, darker, whatever it is. This is, this is how we can you know, get that bare skin. That's how you get cats like Chris Brown, or you get cats, you know, that are like, you know, lighter, like Vin Diesel. Yeah, Vin Diesel. Like Vin Diesel. Or like The Rock. You know, The Rock. His father, a so-called black man, had sex with a Polynesian woman, man. Oh. But the Polynesian woman are fine, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, so, you know, hey. You know, that's how you get, you know, the rock's all huge and shit. He's like 50 and he's huge. Yeah, he's still. Yeah. Out in top shape. Working out. Working out steroids. And, you know, <laughs> and he's an Israelite. Like, all these do is take steroids, man. Yeah, when you have, When you have a sick dude, there's, his veins are popping out and shit, he's taking steroids. That's right. Because you can go to the gym all day and all night, but eventually if you want that huge definition, you're going to need steroids, man. That's right. It's just, it's just necessary, man. All these big time, well, uh, like Arnold Schwarzenegger, when he was winning uh, pageants and shit. Yep. Uh, uh, strong man tournaments. He was taking, he was taking steroids, man. All these dudes take steroids. Lee Haney, uh -huh. you know, all these cats, man, they all take steroids. That's right. And that's why they cocks get little, man. <laughs> yep. <laughs> nah, but they die at an early age, man. Because the body's not necessarily made to take all these hormones, and, you know. But yes. who came up with that you saw? Because your body becomes stiff, you know. Stiff. Yeah. So there's not much blood circulation going through your body. When your body's stiff, like you're stiff on like, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> like that. You can't even, you can't even fucking move, you know. You can't even properly stretch and shit, you know. So the blood is not properly circulating through your body. You get with a chick, this shit doesn't even work. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Drop it dead. Drop it dead. You know what I'm saying? Because that blood, you know, once your body's stiff like that, taking all these hormones, all these steroids, these drugs, because that's all that that's all it is, it's nothing but drugs. You know, right. your body becomes stiff, you know. In the ancient world, we didn't need no steroids because we were strong and big. Yeah, come. We ate proper food. We ate proper food. The proper nutrition was there, you know. Nowadays you're not getting the proper nutrition from these foods. That you're eating, you're not getting the proper nutrition. Your body's not getting the proper nutrition that it needs. You know, that's why you have people, mostly people, overweight. You know, because they put um this these kind of chemicals in the food to make it you know taste good. Our food's processed. You know, process. You know, it makes people want more of it. You know, and they start eating more of it, and then you know, it's all chemical. This is why people get cancer. You know, because at the end of the day, they're not detoxing. They don't know how to detox. They don't know how to clean themselves up, you know, after a meal. You know, after a meal, you're supposed to, you know, cleanse your body. You're supposed to detox that shit because, you know, you eating all that stuff, you know, your body's not going to properly digest the food and it's just going to sit there. The bacteria is just going to continue to build up and build up. And then it'll turn into cancer. And even these so-called organic foods, man, yeah. you, don't, you don't even know. He saw the damn thing, he can lie to you. He'll tell you it's USDA, prime cut, A, A plus B. And that shit's trash. It's probably, it's probably some genetically modified uh, meat. It's probably fake, fake meat. Yeah, mixed with pork. Mixed with pork. Yeah. So because nowadays Esau, he be mixing like like he's mixing the fabrics together, the gross fabrics. 
and he's mixing the meat. You know, he's mixing pork with beef, chicken, chicken with beef, pork with, you know, chicken and pork, chicken and, you know, he's mixing, you know, mixing all, all, all the meat together. And the reason he does it is because it's more profitable. Done. When you mix, you know, cheap pork is, cheap you know, you mix that with beef and all that crap, man, you make a whole lot of money, man. Because you don't have to kill as many off of your livestock. Off you know, but that, that's the double for you. It's all the double. It's all about the bottom line. This is why you got to be destroyed. You saw it's nothing but the damn devil. This is why, you, like the brother said, you got to be destroyed. You got to be put down. You got to be put down like a sick dog. Hey, the lady, King David called them dogs, man. That's right. He said that Job, Job the 30th chapter, man. He called them dogs. So he's a sick dog. He's like old yeller. Remember old yeller had to take him out of the ground back and shotgun him. Yeah, man, this word is evil, man. Yeah, this word is filthy. Your damn nutrition is all fucked up. When you come out the womb, your damn, you already, you already, uh, why do you think the baby's crying? Not because, he, not because, he, you know, he's cold, because he came to this world, man. That's right. The baby's not crying, people think it's because it's cold. Oh, it's cold. No, it's because he, can't, he wanted to go back to the spirit world. That's right. He wanted to go back. Like, why am I here? It's fucked up place. Yeah, that's yeah. why, that's why Job, you know, when Job was catching all, his, all of his hell, he wished that he wasn't even born. Yeah, he wished he wasn't born. He cursed the day of his birth, you know. All the hell he was catching, you know. This is how we feel, you know. You know. Yeah. He wished that we would never even born, you know, catching all this hell, going through this hell, you know. He wished he'd never been born, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, the spirit world is much better than just putting it on. You had press, you had beats. You know, there, there's no... You, know, you no longer hear the voice of your oppressor. You know, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, th you know, thank you all about shimmy all shy. You know, the, the days are speeding up. Because the most is making the time short. That's it. You know, as you can see, you know, like... You know what I mean? We're about to be... We're, we're already in the middle of March. That quick. That quick. One-fourth of the year is gone already. One fourth. Yeah, gone. You know, we're already, we're about to be in the middle of March. So summer's going to be here, and it's going to be gone like that. Exactly. You know, I mean, Lord willing, you know. Guys, the scriptures say that we should uh, hasten the day. Watch. And to pray for a few days. So, hey, it's actually a good thing. But, you know, it's like, a, you know, to these people, it's scary and shit. But to us, Every day is every, another day closer to the king. Yeah, because the whole side, because time is on our side. You know? Time is on our side. Time is our, time is our friend. You know, time is our friend. You know, time is, um, time is the, these people. Time is the, you know, all these people out here that don't have a care in the world. Time is their enemy, you know, especially the so-called white man. You saw Edom. Time is his biggest enemy. That's why they're afraid of death. That's right, come on. Because they don't know what, what's coming after death. That's right. Because they, 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 they're so... This country's like in a rush. Everything, because they're, 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 they're trying to beat death. That's right. They're really trying to beat their death. They try to do everything they can here before they before they die. You understand? This, this life is just... This life is not much in the... Uh, much glory death of body. This one life... This is one, this is just one life that we have. We're gonna come back. We're gonna come back, man. You come back, you come back. You come and you go. It's a cycle. You come back every third or fourth generation. That's why that devil, uh, that devil, David, um, that's why he bought, how, how many yeah. art, art transplants did he have? A couple. He had a couple of transplants, you know? Yeah, he wanted to prolong his life. He didn't want to die. You know, he's on top. Because he knew, he knows that once he dies, He's coming back in slavery, man. You know? He's gonna be in slavery once he comes back. <laughs> yeah. This time he comes back, he comes back in the earth. You know, he's gonna be in slavery. He, he knows that. Alright, so this is the book of um the book of Sarah, Ecclesiasticus, chapter 36, verse 8. And it reads, make the time short. Remember, remember the um the covenant. And let them declare thy wonderful works. 
Like the, the scripture says, says. The Lord says, make the time short. The time is indeed short. You know? And the Lord shortened days for the elect sake. None. Because the Lord only cared really about the elect. Everybody else that was created was just like a, you know, an afterthought. God, they're just actuals. Just extras. The elect, starting with the election, and then, you know, the, the rest of Israel is also the elect. But there, there's an elect within the elect. That's right. There's, there's, a, layers. there's, there's layers. There's a chosen within the chosen. There's a chosen. You know what I'm saying? You got the governing body, which is the 144,000. Which are men, by the way. Which are men. You know? And you got the one third. And then from the one third, that's when the rest of the nations will be brought back you know, to be elect. That's how the present. That's how. That's when the. That's when the scripture will be fulfilled in um, Romans that all Israel shall be saved. That's it. That's it. You're the nation not chosen, man. That's right. You're the nation who was chosen for slavery. <laughs> that's what your ass was chosen. That's right. Y'all was. Y'all was. Y'all was created to be our slaves. Oh yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah, man. You other nation was chosen for mark for slavery. That's what you chosen. He was chosen to be service to the nation of Israel. That's that's the that's your purpose. As as brother read in Second Ezra six and uh, in the 15th, 6th verse on down. You know, that's what that's what the scriptures say, man. That's why they want to take the apocrypha out of the Bible to stretch it. That's why they, they don't mess with the apocrypha because the apocrypha says too much truth. That's right. It, it, it points directly to them. You know, as you said, them. Fingers pointed at you, devil. Exactly. You know, cracker. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it, and it also tells us how how the the the, the, the uh, northern kingdom got over here, man. That's right. You know, maybe second just the uh, 13th chapter, maybe? 14th. Yeah. It tells how it took them, it took them a year and a half to get over here. And that's further proof. That just further proves that you know this side is accurate. Just you know, through that encounter alone, that, that further proves that the northern tribe of the Israelites. Because they were already over on the side of the earth already. That's right. Because the scripture says where no man where no where mankind do not do well. You know, there was no people prior to that, you know, there was no there was nobody over there prior to that when um when the uh, northern tribe, you know, after the Assyrian the Assyrian captivity, you know. That they, they, they took counsel amongst themselves and, and came came over here in ships. You know, and the, and the Most High was with it because they um, he showed them on signs. You know, so that that just goes to show you that the Northern Tribes people on the side are Israelites. But you got you know you got these wacky Israelites teaching that you know. And the so-called Hispanics and Native and Civil Indians are not Israel. But you're gonna be destroyed for that. Because you're not teaching the full truth. You're not teaching the truth. Yeah, and furthermore, if you don't have your sign, the Heavenly Father is not dealing with you. That's right. You're out there teaching without the sign, the Most High is not dealing with you. God, it's a commandment to have a sign. The Lord told Ezekiel that in the 37. That's right. The 15th verse said that both hands shall be both. both. Take the one stick, uh, Ephraim and his companions, or uh, Joseph or Joseph and his companions, and, uh, and they shall be one in our hand. That's right. And this, this, this is the point. This is the wood, but same, same, uh, same effect, same concept. Yeah. It's the same concept. When you get that word wood, it literally means a plant, man. That's right. You know, so you're supposed to have that sign. You got to teach it, you know, oh, the sign it. The most sign not doing with you, bro. That's right. Because this this is what this is a this is a hook like uh like like uh, uh like uh Albert Bridges has said this is a hook it's a hook yeah you know? that's the hook that's the hook that reels reels people in they say oh look that's my tribe yeah. even even though they may be another tribe this is just a, like a uh, just like a template for us man that's right you know it's like a template a spiritual template man what we what we base everything off of man you know and um, like the Lord. It, this is an indicative of, of, this is a prophetic that we would actually have this in the latter days. The, the so-called Jews, they, they never had this. They're supposed to be the so-called Jews. They're supposed to be the tribes, and they never had that sign. You've never seen a Christian with the sign. 
a Jehovah's Witness with the sign, and I've seen a Mormon out there with the sign. Right? The Twelve Tribe sign is indicative of the end. That means that the, our people are coming back to their heritage. Right? Yeah. Uh, but this is a uh, John 10 and 16. And other sheep I have which are not of this fold. Them also I must bring. And they shall hear my voice. And there shall be one fold and one shepherd. You know, so the other sheep that I have which are not of this fold. Because at the time, um, at the time when Yahweh Shai came on the scene, you know, only the, the tribes that were there, you know, were mainly Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. You know? When Yahweh Shah was on the scene. Right. So that's what he meant. You know? But you would have simple minded people that would say that that means other nations, you know, which are not of this world. They're not sheep, man. They're, they're not sheep. They're goats. They're goats. They're goats, man. <laughs> not, not the greatest of all time. Nah, this they're is why goats, man. Yeah, this is why there were stories that, you know, that, you know, the other tribes that made that. Our Lord Yahweh Shai came over here, you know, to this other side, to this side of the world, you know. Right, right. One of them was a uh, Kesikul Khan. Kesikul. The them, the Mesopotamians, the so-called Mexicans, they 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 painted them as a fiery serpent. Khan. Yeah. That was that was the Lord. That's that prophecy being fulfilled. All the shit that I have. That's my I teach also. That's, it. That's when our Lord Yahweh Shai, he came, you know, before he went in the spiritual realm, he came over to the side of the earth where the other tribes reside. Because the other tribes were already residing already, already over here. Over there. Over here. You know? The Lord had came. Son of man shall come in his glory, and all the holy, holy angels with him. Then shall he sit on the throne of his glory. And before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from another. Hey yo, my name's Mike. Excuse me. Hey yo, fuck this way. shit. Get out of the way. Bro. Fuck this shit. Get out I of hope the way. This is on YouTube. Good vibes, dog. Good vibes, baby. What the fuck you doing? Whatever, what you we preaching think we're doing. to God? Why are you swearing? Well, you do. You, you, don't, you don't just get in front of the camera swear on and the preach Bible. like that. You swear Come on the Bible. You really no, we don't. Yo, yo, yo. Go, really go somewhere, bro. Go somewhere. Go somewhere. Get out of here, man. What you gonna do about it? Get out of here, man. Yo, you drunk, man. Get out of here, bro. I ain't drunk. You are drunk. You smell like liquor, man. No. No, get out of here, bro. I think you need some more. No, get out of here, bro. But you smoking weed? Get out of here, dude. Get out of here, dude. You on drugs? Alright, anyways, man. Sergeant 11 Bravo Army vet. Don't give a shit. You don't give a shit, man. Alright, you swearing on the Bible on your YouTube channel? What does the word swear mean? What does it mean to you? No, I'm asking you. What does it mean? What does it mean? What does it mean? I'm asking you. Man, we ain't dealing with you, man. Go somewhere, bro. Go somewhere, man. What's the word square mean to you? What does it mean in the Bible? I'm asking you. You tell me. You tell me. You tell me. I want you to tell me first, and then I'll tell you what my meaning of it is. Man, we ain't dealing with you, bro. Yeah, we ain't dealing with you, bro. Matthew 25 and 31, when the Son of Man shall come in his glory, and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit on the throne of his glory. And before him shall be gathered all nations, he shall separate them one from another, as the shepherd divided his sheep from the goats. Why are you all preaching? You got big mouth. And he shall set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on the left. 
Yeah, that's why the most high guys gotta, gotta come separate the these 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 uh these sheep from the goats, man. You know what I'm saying? Before before all that happens, before all of that gets destroyed. Your country, huh? More your country, same one. Yeah, it don't take this the wrong way. We're saying our country, man. They racist. My daughter's mother's black. My kid is saying our country, man. Don't take this the wrong way. People from another country come over here and take my job. I served in the military for ten years. I'm homeless, right? This is why I revolt. This is why I revolt, right? Those motherfuckers come over here and take my jobs, right? I served in anybody from other countries. Take my jobs. And I serve this country honorably. Okay. I can't even get a job at a, as a cop if I wanted to, and I don't. Don't get me wrong, I don't. Fuck the police. Two motherfuckers come over here and take a marriage's jobs. We can't eat. I serve my motherfucking country. So sorry for putting judgment on it, on you if you come from another country. For somebody from another country, if you are from yeah, another country, who got braces, who got braces, who can get gentle, who can come over here and get another job, well, this is what the, preach the Bible to this an what American. The says. Hey, hey, listen, 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 bro. I'm, and I'm giving it to I'm you the wrong way right now. Well, what you came up and did, that was disrespectful. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 We wouldn't have, we wouldn't have, we don't have an issue with you. We don't have an issue with you, but what you came and did, that was disrespectful. I don't, I don't, that don't matter. What matters is you came up here disrespectful. Yeah. Would you do that to somebody else? You wouldn't do that shit. But you all preach the Bible. Why would you what about swear? That? Let me ask you that. What's now the, the swear? The brother off. asked you. Now the that camera's that the not off. off. The camera's still on. All right, so explain to your, your, your YouTube followers why you swear. What is what is a swear? What is a swear to a you? A swear is an oath. You're That's the one what it with is. your channel. No, 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 no. You're talking in circles. That's what you're doing. No, I asked you for the I swear, time. A swear is, is an oath. That's what it is. It's not it's not saying a swear fuck. word. Fuck what does fuck mean? You said get the fuck out. What does it mean? What is what is you said get the fuck What does fuck here, mean? What does it mean? What is the word what is the word of fuck mean? Disrespectful. No, it doesn't mean disrespectful. It means fornication me. under the consent the of the fuck king. Out of my face. That's what it means. Fuck out of my the word fuck is an old English way. word that means fornication under the consent of the king. That's what it means. Alright? We we yeah. We're not, we're not idiots up here. So when he says something, get the fuck out of here. What does that mean? Disrespect being yeah. disrespectful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you say Ever it is, in we're American doing something. sense. We're doing something and you're coming in front yeah, of the camera. Get the you, you get the fuck out of here with that Yeah, yeah, go All somewhere. Right. All right. Have a nice day. All right. Watch that though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some yeah. stupid Yeah, you gotta watch dudes, oh, man. Demons. Yeah, that dude. Yeah, that demon right here that was laughing too. That dude's evil, man. No, we we're, were getting wrap up. We was getting ready to wrap up too, but you know the spirit had it to where you know, you know we had to keep going a little bit longer, man. It gets warm. These demons, come demons on. just fucking just lose their mind, bro. Yeah, why, why would you see? You wouldn't do that to Esau, bro. Uh, you wouldn't do that to Esau. And, you, and, and they hate the scriptures. That was a that was a demon. They said fuck the Bible. That was a, that was a evil spirit. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, you know. This has to happen. When the, like we were saying, when the word goes out, you know, spirits get roused up. But um, that's why the scripture saying in, in, uh, in Wisdom of Solomon in the fifth chapter, and first verse says, Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness in, in the face of such as have afflicted him, afflicted him and made no account of his labors, man. So they don't make account of our, you know, of our labors, man. You know? If they, if they see the white dude up here, they're not gonna, they're not gonna do that shit to him. Oh, they wouldn't do that shit because they respect him. They respect exactly. them. They don't respect two, two niggas up here, man. Yeah, it's you know? Problem. That dude was drunk out of his mind. It's like, it's like 2 o'clock. He's already drunk, man. But, <laughs> the, hey, like we were saying earlier, this fucking, this fucking uh, army, that army don't do shit for you. Exactly. So you could be an Edomite working in the damn army, and you and like you said, you come home and you don't have shit. Exactly. That's an unrighteous decree. That's an unrighteous decree. But this, this, is, this is why, you know, this, this society is working. They don't even look out for their own veterans. They don't even look out for their own people. They, they go out there, they, they you know, they put their lives at, in danger. You know, they put their lives on the line only to come back. You know, you know, serving a country only to come back. You know, to get nothing in return. You know? so that's it. That, that's, that's wicked. But you know what I mean. That's it. But you know, he, you know, he could be a Jake. You know, could be. He could be. I don't think so. 
I think I think he's a I think he's a cracker. But, yeah. You know, it could be. Yeah, it could. You know, we don't know. We don't. Know, but you know, at the same time, you know, you don't just come up like you know, like it's, it's disrespectful. Too many demons out here. You know, it gets not get warm. You know, these demons come up. Get in front of the camera saying, "Oh, this is all bullshit." Like, like, yo, yeah, what's up with you, bro? Yo, if you have a fucking question, address us. These people are not stable. The demons, they, they, they mess with. Ecclesiastes 501, keep that foot. When I go into the house of the Most High. You yeah. notice you had a demon too that was just laughing there too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You, know, you seen that, right? You peeped that. Nah, right? I was too busy wearing the Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was too busy. I peeped that. I peeped that. I was ready to give him the left hand. You know, I was yeah, like, me too. Nah, Bob, because he, I don't know if he's going to touch the camera, run away with it. I don't know. I don't know. You know yeah. He was standing there. Too. I, I was ready to, you know, I was in combat for myself. If he would have raised his hand and then he kind of broke it. The moment I saw, the moment he wrote, he wrote a rose his hand, then that was, that would have been it. Yeah, man. Yeah, a lot of these dudes are agent provocateurs, man. A lot of them, so you gotta be circumspect. You know, that's why we don't touch them. We don't touch nobody. And nobody touches us. You know, like that dude. You know, like a garment, man. man. So nobody is supposed to be touching you. Hey, we're supposed to keep six feet, right? So yeah, just six feet. <laughs> yeah, nigga, nobody abides by his fucking rules, man. Exactly. His fucking bullshit ass rules. Touching everything, you know? Hey, buddy. Those are, those are evil spirits, man. So I have to take the kid. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Listen. That's why you gotta be on point. You brothers out there, you know, it's, you gotta be on point, man. You gotta be on point, you have you know be circumspect. The script saying so, so being circumspect literally means to look around. You know? Be aware of your surroundings. Circle, inspect meaning uh, look, you know. But uh yeah, I mean, you know, I think you know we could wrap it up with this week. Unless you got way. something else. But anyway, you know, with that, you know. All praises and glories to Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai by Shem, and Quark of Dash. Double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone. Show the one to the Yaku Mouthy on the highways and byways, the Lord's Nation Road abroad, all around the world. Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai, Quark of Dumb, Warm Yahweh Shai, Allah, and above all.